Uh, yesterday, uh, by all accounts, it looked as though the deal was very close to happening. Romano saying Tottenham and PSG are confident of Tanguy and Dombele loan move, but not done yet. The Telegraph saying that Tottenham are finally close to agreeing a deal to move on Tanguy and Dombele. PSG are in advanced negotiations over a loan with an option to buy, but... Le Quip uh, this morning saying internal voices at PSG have worries over Ndombele's state of mind and there's a feeling he's potentially too similar to Paul Pogba who could arrive on a fee in the summer, on a free in the summer, sorry. Ndombele's huge wages put a huge break on the transfer. Yeah, they're worried about his state of mind, which is exactly what Mourinho's been saying, exactly what uh, Conte seems to be saying. No one doubts his quality, but it's all it's, his mentality has always been the big question mark, hasn't it? That's been that's always been the big issue, and um, that's now what apparently PSG are worried about. So it doesn't surprise me whatsoever. Uh, we're, we're, it's, uh, if this deal doesn't come, go through, then we really are not going to get anyone. Yeah. This is, this will be it pretty much for us in this window because he's on big wages. He's a big he's a player. We need to get out of the door to free up some money, and um, and I don't know. It's uh, it, if this doesn't get over the line, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to in incomings, because we're in this blo we're in this bloody. Uh, I was talking to Brian um, on WhatsApp today. We, uh, there's this, it's the Daniel Levy paradox. We can't sign anyone until we sell any players, and we can't sell any players until we sign replacements. Like I'm hearing yesterday, there's um, Ajax, Tottenham. Uh, Ajax still want Bergwijn, but Tottenham are reluctant to get Bergwijn until we get a replacement. So. We can't sign anyone until we sell players. We can't sell anyone. And we can't sign anyone. So it's a paradox. You just that's why there's just no movement for us. We don't know what we're doing. We have no clue. We don't know how to conduct ourselves in the transfer window. Uh, we've been doing the same shit for decades and it's all going on. But look, that's not to do with Ndombele, but the whole Ndombele thing um, doesn't surprise me that PSG are having second se second it's thoughts. Like, it's like we've been waiting all window for this Undombele thing to happen, so some sort of domino effect can happen in this transfer window with Spurs, and even that they can't get over the line with 28 days gone. You know what I mean? It's just like, come on! When is something just gonna? When are we gonna get a break? When are we gonna get a break? It's just bad news after bad news after bad news. This is the life of a Tottenham fan. It really is so stressful, man. It really is. Yeah. It's we shouldn't be reliant on all these things, but because of how we run our club, this is exactly what we're reliant on. And um, we're not willing to spend anything out of our own pocket, uh, only what we get in. That's always been the case. And uh, that's always going to be the case pretty much until, uh, I don't know, it will, it will never, that's it. It's and not even, until anything. And even when we do spend the money, the recruitment's been so poor. Yeah. So poor. I mean... I can't remember like the last time we actually, I mean, we got signed Hoybier, fine. He's been good for our first team. But before Hoybier, who was the last like proper signing that we made? Um, the last proper signing that we made? That's impacted the first team. Well, 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 it's supposed to be Romero, but he got injured. Um, from looking at our first team, it's like... Mora in that January, Son was Mora has Mora really impacted the first team? He's just, he's been a squad player most of the time until up until like a few months ago. Yeah, it's a Son. Wow, really? Yeah, a Son is the last one that's we've really signed that's proper impacted the first team. If you if you take Hoybier and and um, yeah, Hoybier's in there obviously, but I'm talking about before Hoybier. It's got to be only Son. I can't think of anyone else. Toby and Toby was our, was before Son, wasn't he? Toby was before Son, yeah. So it was Son. Can you think of anyone else? No. <laughs> wow, that's mad. That's 2015. Yeah. Anyone that just else shows you how poor Regulon, the Regulon. But he was also one that came out of, out of the blue, wasn't planned, was he? I don't, the thing is with Regulon, yeah, he he's been. He's been all right. I don't think he's proper, like, been amazing and really impacted the first team. It's not like we've been doing great since Reglon has come in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Son has been the only one that's really been a top talent that's, that's really impacted the first team, hasn't he? Yeah. That's like a nailed on starter and, like, yeah. Yeah. It has to be Son. Son's like the pro last one, pretty much. Which before is mental. Yeah, it's, it's, it's mental. mental. Mm -hmm. For a team that were consistently in the Champions League, for a team that got to the Champions League final... Since 2015, not to make any key, key, proper key signings to impact the first team, mm -hmm. like to the impact that Son did. It's mental. It's That's crazy. It is crazy when you think about it like that. It's absolutely insane when you think about it like that.
and um yeah the big money signings haven't worked out but if any yeah i mean what 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 do you think happens if ndombele is still here on the Jeff february first you Jack and conte use him no Jack and conte uses him I might have know. no choice unless he unless he um, makes the effort because you know this happens. <sighs> it's his bloody cycle again, it is, isn't it? The, the Ndombele cycle. cycle. It's the same cycle. We had the same problem last January. We were like, oh, we're going to sell Ndombele. Uh, deal didn't move, and then suddenly he got into Jose Mourinho's plans, didn't he, and became a central figure. Mm -hmm. So maybe the same thing will happen again. I don't know. We're, we're going to hear. Uh, we'll hear again. Um, Leak saying, oh, Ndombele is ready to fight for his place and he's ready to knuckle down. We'll always hear that as yeah. soon as um, any failed move move materialises. Yeah. Be interesting to see because at the moment doesn't look like he's going if a PSG aren't, aren't certain about him. Mm, I know. But look, we'll just have to wait and see how this one plays out. I'm sure there'll be more twists and turns and more news uh, to bring to you on the Tangi Ndombele saga, one that's been rumbling on since the first week of the window. Uh, but let's move on and let's talk about um, Tottenham having a bid accepted for a player and that is he goes by the name of Oli Tanner. The Athletic brings us the story that Tottenham's bid for non-league talent Oli Tanner has been accepted by Lewis FC. Dan Kilpatrick says Tottenham have had a six-figure bid accepted by non-league club Lewis FC for Oli Tanner who's 19. It includes, includes a sell-on clause which is uh, received to be around 15% interest from there was interest from other Premier League clubs and championship clubs but Tanner is yet to agree to anything yet <laughs> oh what so he's going <laughs> to reject gonna get, that <laughs> by it for him as well great so we're signing a non-league um, striker 19 years of age who's probably going to go straight to the under 23s and he's probably going to replace yeah apparently he's replacing Mark Kande in yeah. the under 23s so he's replacing a boyhood Tottenham fan even though he's an Arsenal fan yeah, so we're replacing He's a Tottenham fan about Harry Kane in a derogatory way. Exactly. So fantastic. Uh, he might he might have been killing it in non-league, but <sighs> look again. Okay, he might be a good talent. I don't mind get him through the door, but this is nothing to be excited about when we're three days left of the window. We have a world-class manager who's been calling for signings, and we're signing 19-year-old uh, players from non-league. It's like. I don't think Conte probably even knows who he is. Like, you know what I mean? I, I don't even. I don't even know. Don't think Conte cares about that. That's, this isn't the. Fine, go ahead and sign him. It's not. I don't really care. Like it's. It's whatever. Um, he might be a good player in the future, but right now, we have an opportunity and we're wasting it. We're wasting it. Um, you know, we're probably. I reckon it's like oh. We have to. We're Spurs are concentrating on the Tanner deal, and then they'll move on to other targets. That's probably the, the party line from the from the club right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, great. We're signing a, a, an Arsenal fan who <laughs> who hasn't even accepted exactly. us yet. By the way, it's uh, not like it's, it's not like we've put in an offer and, and we've put a, put a contract in front of him and he's jumping up to sign no, it. No, apparently not. <laughs> he's a non-league player. Yeah, I can't even fully commit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Look, is he, is he going to be our backup striker? Honestly, I'd rather give Scarlett the Kante's chances. replacement in the under 23s, and we've paid six figures for him, by the way. I'd rather give Scarlett more chances, honestly, to be honest. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I'll obviously, I've never seen him play. I don't know anything about him. But Yeah, but even if you have seen him play, you're playing in uh, non league, what can you really take away from what you, what you see? Eh, if he's 19, you never know. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I I got no no nothing to say about him. Just more frustration that this is what we're spending our time. Well, why do we have to really sign him now in January? Like, is this like a, a uh, is this like a priority for us? Can't we get him in the summer? A play, uh, are we worried clubs are lining up for him? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, we're gonna get gazumped by mm. a championship side. Yeah, probably. Uh